the holder, right? I know all the information about me because I'm the holder. Um, you're the verifier, so you can verify that you are, um, that the data is correct, and you're the issuer, right? Um, and I only have to show Andreas, who's my customer or my supply chain partner, the pieces that I want, right? So I know everything about me. You know, you can say that piece of data is true in value, right? Um, you uh, can ver you know, verify it, right? You verify it. And tell us a little bit about this is, this is the not, complexity. This is it. not new. Certifiers have existed for, yeah. for a long time. You know, SGS, UL, Bureau of Veritas, they certify claims now that this product is safe or that this plant is carbon neutral. Um, and they might issue you a certificate. Now, that certificate in the past would have been a piece of paper. Um, it's, the, it's the same concept done slightly differently. And, and we all know that technology can unlock, mm -hmm. new, you know, either efficiencies, which is what we just described, or, you know, new ways to, to addressing problems. So what the, in the example that we've been talking about here, this is, this is not a new way to do business. It's just a new way to, to underpin it with a more efficient mm -hmm. approach. And, and I feel it addresses the um, sort of wish of uh, many people to have the data serenity or the being in control of my own data. So going in the web three direction, which is also like a, mm -hmm. one of the principles, I, I believe, where the holder can decide when and what to share with somebody. Mm -hmm. yep. And that's, that's really the key. It's not somewhere in a platform where a company that runs the platform and has a centralized uh, business model here mm -hmm. uh, would decide on, based on a business model, who to share data or information with. So privacy, right? Private, privacy preserving methods mm -hmm. of doing that as well. Commercial confidentiality is important in supply chains. Absolutely. It, you know, trans transparency, total transparency is not the same as, for example, traceability. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sorry. Alex? Yeah, I think that's, that's exactly correct, right? When, you have, when you're able to actually put data onto the blockchain, like a lot of different elements of what you have as a compute focused blockchain. So Hyperledger is fantastic for tracking various elements. But one of the big problems that Filecoin solves is actually you need to store that data in a blockchain sense. Mm -hmm. And that's where the verification actually comes in. Um, so talking about you know, how, this, how this all scales is that's a way to actually take in huge quantities of data and say this is now a blockchain asset as opposed to something where it says, okay, I can now verify something happened, but you're still dealing with you know, a centralized system like an oracle. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of the, the missing piece there that can finish the puzzle.